Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our daily card reading for April 21st, 2021. All right, so what do we have here? Let me get them positioned just so. Forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. Before I even read the card, um, this has to do with letting go of, you know, how you think things should have gone. And that's really where we start to get into this self-blame I could have done more, I should have done this, I should have done that. And we've been talking a lot about looking at a situation from all angles, a lesson that I'm still currently learning to do. And, you know, seeing where our accountability is. And freeing ourselves in a way by, you know, sort of looking at an old memory and seeing all parts of it. But this is for those of you out there who are blaming yourselves for things that were absolutely out of your control. For some of you, this is somebody who crossed over. I, did you think that you were going to keep them in their body? There was nothing you could do. Their experience was their experience. Most likely it was on their timeline. We have exit points on our timeline. You can choose to take them or no. I had one when I was 42. Went breezing right past it. <laughs> I was like, nope. I don't, know. I don't think I had a near death experience, but like I was waiting for it. But you know, if it was their time, it was their time, and they had to cross over. Okay. So this card is saying, I ask that you help me let go of self blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear toward others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. So again, some of you thought that you could have prevented something. There's some, um, okay, I'm talking to CEOs out there. Some of you out there are high-level business people. You're feeling a lot of guilt for not taking care of people better. There was nothing you could have done. Whatever's going on in your business. So release that. Okay, release whatever that is you've done the best that you can do. And I'm hearing hands were tied. So in a lot of situations, you don't have to be like a CEO. It's just if you lead other people, for a lot of you watching this video, your hands were tied. There was nothing that you could have done. So forgive yourself. Okay. And some of you too, I mean, you're really closing out these old chapters or closing out an approach to your chapter and reinventing it. Yes. So taking a whole different perspective as you go forward is what we're saying so this situation is already resolved i give any worries cares and concerns to you in exchange for true peace in all ways thank you for resolving this and you give the details of the situation in a divinely perfect way whenever that card comes out this situation is already re resolved um this to me and the messaging coming through this is this feeling of this was all in the plan Again, sometimes people don't like to hear that, but this was in the plan. There's already an outcome. It's not to imply that you don't have free will or that fate is in charge here. No, God is in charge, honey. Put it on a t-shirt, tell your friends. God is in charge, right? And so you might have an outcome to a situation that's not what you expected, okay? And you might even dare say, no, that was awful. I got fired from my job or I had to give up my company. Like that was awful. No, that was the resolution. That was one end point so that you could start again. When we ask to be protected, we are protected. Again, it will not always look the way you want it to. And you might say, well, nice going angels protecting me by scaring me. Like, that's not nice. <laughs> I know the feeling. I know the feeling definitely. But that's where we have to trust. That's where we have to trust where we're being guided. Yes. So if something goes away or whatever, it wasn't for you. It wasn't for you. I'm getting cabochons. Let's see what we have. Okay. Come on. <laughs> There we go. We have love, Archangel Zadkiel, all about transmutation and codes. Oh, there you go. There you go. You need to get into this space where you understand your situation a little bit better here and feeling. Yes, that's it. You're feeling the guidance. You can feel the angelic presence working through you and through even the situations in your life. And hopefully, you know, Zadkiel can help you 
And if you call upon Archangel Zadkiel to take any lower frequencies, the worries, the doubts, you know, all this negative self-talk and transmute it so that it's in a higher frequency. So that you're looking past the narrative and you're tapping into your real power. I, again, I know that sounds very cliche, but that's really what you're doing here. And through the frequency of love, we have codes, okay? Through the frequency of love, you're activating. You are activating. I want to get a few more here because not a lot of them came out. <laughs> there we go. Archangel Uriel, passion, mm -hmm. fire, strength. Archangel Shamuel, full potential, self-love. Boom, boom, boom. Say, put you over there. <laughs> self-love, forgive yourself. Okay. You've done nothing wrong. And I want to also add in here, there's a message coming through that some people, yeah, they're saying, don't forget the character you play. Don't forget the character you play. So for some of you, maybe you had to walk away from a relationship or a dynamic where, you know, you, you wanted to be with this person, but you were seeing some toxic behavior. You're seeing some coping mechanisms that maybe were triggering for you. And you knew that if you stayed in that situation, you would be pulled down with them. And for your own good, you had to walk away. Comment down below if that's your situation and if that had any resolution. Uh, well, that was the resolution. Are you okay with the resolution? Are you healing through the resolution that has appeared for you? So, you know, it's that sort of thing where love yourself. And sometimes you have to make choices for your own good, okay? Even if it means moving away from someone you love very, very dearly. You know, I lived in New York City for a good portion of my adult life, and I had friends there. There were people, you know, people that I love very, very deeply lived there, but I had to heal. And I couldn't do that when New York suddenly was getting louder to me. It was seeming dirtier to me. I was less tolerant of people bumping into me. And I was like, look, <laughs> I know there's millions of people in a tiny little space, but you could have, you know, walked around or whatever. I found myself getting impatient. And so for my soul growth, I had to get out of that situation and go try something new. And when I got here, boy, I was hit with one lesson after another. I moved to Colorado Springs, if you don't know. And uh, it was quite an adjustment. But once I came through that adjustment, I started to really see the wisdom, here we go, wisdom, uh, in coming here and transmuting my energy, yes? So these decisions that you have to make for your health, for your sanity even, <laughs> but definitely for your personal and soul growth, you don't need to feel guilty about that, right? You are doing what's best for you, and as we see here, um, you know, the situation is already resolved. So you're doing what you got to do. I guess is essentially what we're getting at here. Okay. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.